So what I want to start with is why Spark? Usually what you can have is you have this uh, big chunk of data and you want to analyze a slice here. You want to take this slice and you want to um, do some analytics and then come to some uh, conclusion. And depending on the size of, of this, this chunk here, um, this is going to get uh, going to be problematic. And here comes these these uh, distributed processing tools, and they are basically um, parallelizing your analytics. So they are not doing uh, one query and and uh, through basically one stream and get the data and analyze it. They are um, doing a lot of stuff in parallel. So this this then you're starting this and you're you're taking a chunk, you're analyzing it. You come to a, a conclusion, this here, this is um, batch processing. So this is one one use case for, for these tools like Spark. Then uh, the other use case is you have uh, a lot of small data. And this data is basically flying in um, from one side and you want to do some analytics and then you basically store it uh, or you visualize it. And when you when you uh, basically get streams and you analyze them, um, we could build a like a thing around here. Um, this is uh, stream processing. So um, now here's uh, the question that always comes up: Is but Andreas. We're doing this for years. We are uh, we use some stuff like MapReduce for this, and here comes the 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 problem why Spark is so great. So what Spark is doing? Spark is working in memory, and not like um, drawing classes. Can you go over that again, please? Um, most the not one hundred percent sure. So um, you're you're having a big chunk of like batch processing. You're having a big ch chunk of data, or a big amount of data. You're taking a a huge chunk. This can be terabytes, and you want to analy analyze it in analytics in one. Uh, let me put here one uh, arrow. So in one one process and come to a conclusion this is batch processing if you have a lot of small data that is flying in very very fast and you're doing uh, recurring analytics on that that is called stream processing so you're you're processing the data when it comes up and this is then going into some storage or something and um, so the problem was uh, we used to do this with with tools like MapReduce that were not in memory um, in memory capable or in memory based and what you had is like this uh, i hope it's a bit clearer on your end it's a bit uh, fuzzy here on 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 uh, my end the the thing was this um, you had hdfs oops and then you had MapReduce. so you you would take data you would analyze it. Then you need to store it again. And then you need to analyze it. And then you would go back, take it from storage, analyze it, and we'll go forward because you have no in-memory capability. You you just, after each, uh, each step, you need to store the data again and then at some point you came you come to a conclusion
So here's the th- here's the thing. Um, when you're when you're in the when you're in the ecosystem of Spark, you have your your storage, and this is in a in a Hadoop environment. You have your HDFS, your 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 uh, real storage. You load it into uh, let's say RAM, and then you process it, and then the result is going back into RAM, and then you analyze it. And then you're going to go back, go forth, and at some point you come to some storage. Uh, this is the Cassandra sign here. I would do uh, f- for continuation uh, to be to be uh, basically like the the top one here. And this is HDFS again. Um, they say ten times faster here. It doesn't matter. Uh, it depends on absolutely the use case. I would say 10 times is a bit of an understatement. So this is basically um, how this how this comes together. And here's here's the, the if you if you don't look at at the um, at machine learning and so on, the basic of Spark. Which, which makes it so great is parallel processing and is that you don't have so much I.O. on the hard drives. You have RAM. You need a lot of RAM. Of course you need a lot of RAM. And then you can do very, very good analytics. Okay. Uh, HDFS is like hard drive. HDFS is the, the Hadoop file system. And um, this is basically a distributed file system based on yeah based on hard drives based on ssds 